everyone, it's Safra and I'm back with another video. So today we will be taking a look at this scrawly box that just arrived to me in the mail. If you would like to see my previous scrawly box unboxings, I will leave a link in the card as always. But for now, let's get into this one. And this one is the one for the month of October, I do believe. And now let's see if I can get into the box. I could! Wow, I think they made it easier to open. Maybe they listened to all of my complaints about not being able to open it and they were finally like, yeah. She's, too, she, she's not smart enough to do this. We have to make it easy for her. Okay, so we have the art supplies. And there's a thing that fell out. Oh, let's put that over here. And then we have some art to work. I don't know which way it's supposed to go. I'm gonna guess um, that it can go any which way you want it to. And here is the artist's information if you would like to check them out. And then we have some papier. If I can get it out. Whoa, this feels weird. I wonder if this has cotton in it. Oh no, it's slightly dented. Oh. Oh wow, this is the same but like in a different color. That's really cool. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, now let's get into the art supplies. So we already have one thing out here. There we go. Don't need this. <laughs> oh. Okay, spoilers. Okay, so first up we have this pen skull. Uh, from Stedler, and it's a Tradition HP. So, that's cool. That's just like a standard pencil. I like HP pencils. And then we have a Koi coloring brush pen, and I do believe that I have a set of these, but this one is uh, clear. So I'm thinking that we're gonna need it to blend something with. Then of course we have the pencil sharpener that fell out earlier. And it says pastel on it, so I think I know what might be in here. Yep, we got some pastel pencils. Whew. I don't know how I feel about pastel. I don't think I've ever used it before, so that's gonna be uh, interesting. And then we have the candy, which looks to be a hard candy with eucalyptus and menthol taste. I'm gonna save it for later. And the theme for this month is Washed Ashore. I guess that's a challenge. The theme is a life aquatic? A, I don't... Is that even a real sentence? A life aquatic? I don't know. But the challenge is Washed Ashore. Let's uh, get swatching so that we can get started. So after I started swatching, I very quickly realized that these are not pastel pencils. I'm very sorry for assuming that's what happens when you're stupid and you can't read. Because if I would have just read the, the card that they give that I always just throw away, don't read, I would have known. But these are not pastel pencils. I would say, however, that it's very confusing that they give us a pencil sharpener that says pastel on it when there's no pastel in here. So it's not just on me. Or maybe it is. Maybe I'm just stupid. These pencils are, however, oil-based, light-fast pencils from Derwent. So that is that is what this is. And I don't know why they included two pencils that are almost the same color. You see the, the two first ones that I'm swatching? Those ones are basically the same color. That's kind of weird to me. And also I tried to use the coloring blender pen thing to blend them together or like to do something and it wasn't doing anything like I would drag it on top nothing was happening and I tried on different kinds of paper didn't work at all so I don't know what that's about or why they would include that in the scrawler box because it does not work with the pencils at all or maybe I'm just an idiot but I just couldn't for the life of me get it to work I tried scribbling lightly or heavily nothing was working 
So then I started drawing the drawing and I wasn't feeling very inspired by the prompt wash the shore because I don't really ever draw or want to draw stuff that has been washed ashore. Uh, so I was like, what can I draw? I guess a shipwreck or a mermaid or something. Then I did a couple sketches, uh, thumbnail sketch things. And I didn't really like any of them, but I ended up with this mermaid who's like being washed ashore. You can, you can see in the sketch. I just transferred the, the first thumbnail I had. I blew it up, transferred it to my piece of paper, and then I am sketching a bit on top of that. So that is what you see here. And then I transferred that to the piece of paper using my light box which is what you see here. I used one of the colored pencils so that I wouldn't have to erase stuff. And then I started coloring. I never really use colored pencils for anything. And this paper is kind of different from what I'm used to working with, with colored pencils. And there's a lot of like small detail and stuff in this piece. Uh, and these pencils are kind of chunky. So I very quickly realized that this wasn't gonna be as easy to make nice as I wanted it to be, or like, as I thought it would be. So, um, I gave up, scrapped it, and started over. So I don't really particularly enjoy working with colored pencils, and I'm not very good at it, so I very quickly realized that if I wanted to make something that wasn't crappy, I needed to just stick with something that I know how to draw, something that's easy for me. So today we're just doing another portrait of another girl face because that's something I know how to do. So that's what we're doing. Also, I don't have a lot of creative energy these days. So that's what you get. Great. So now that that's established, uh, here is the actual thing that I'm working on. So I decided to just make it easy on myself and sketch it on the piece of paper with a yellow pencil because I didn't want to do a sketch and then transfer it because I'm getting kind of sick of that. I've been doing a thing, I've been working on a secret video where I need a lot of the same drawing. I'm not going to tell you what it's for, but I need a lot of the same drawing. So I've been transferring that with my light box and I, I'm kind of over the <laughs> transferring thing with my light box. I don't really enjoy it that much. So I just sketched straight onto this piece of paper. Which is a thing that I never ever do. I always go in my sketchbook, plan things out, make thumbnails, make small sketches, idea development. Then I go onto a different piece of paper and I draw the big sketch. And I draw, maybe sometimes I actually draw two different sketches and two different pieces of paper just so that I can have like a second sketch layer, kind of. And then I will go and transfer it to the piece of paper that I want to work with because I am just that careful when it comes to not messing up my nice paper. And I also don't want to deal with having to erase things off of my nice paper. I just want to have it very clear and clean so I don't need to deal with like leftover ghost marks of sketches and stuff. As for the drawing, I wanted to kind of still do the scroller prompt because when I get a scroller box I want to do the scroller challenge. I don't want to opt away from it. I I need to do the challenge, otherwise I feel like a failure. No, that's not, don't, don't be, don't tell me to not feel like a failure in the comments, I'm joking. Uh, I just I really wanna do the scroller challenge because I feel like that's the fun part of scroller box. Uh, so I had to make this easier for myself, as I said. So I'm just doing this, this close up of a face. But one of my first ideas from, uh, or that I was developing while I was thinking about this was a girl who was washed ashore after a shipwreck. So this is uh, this is her. <laughs> I had a couple sketches, but none of them turn out very good. So we're just gonna pretend that this is a girl who's been washed ashore from a shipwreck. We'll pretend that I completed the scrawler challenge, right? Yes. If you don't tell anyone, I won't. Okay, great. So this was really hard for me to draw. Um, I struggled a lot with the hair for some reason and also didn't have that many different colors because two of these don't really show up on the white paper or the yellow paper for that matter. 
the two lightest ones, they don't really, I, I can't see them on anything. Maybe they'll work nicely on darker paper, but they do not work on light paper. You can't see them at all. So I only really had four different tones to work with. I had the light blue and then the black, and then I had the brown and the yellow. So that's all that I really had to work with. So it was kind of hard to get enough contrast in there, like in the skin. Uh, so yeah, but I think it ended up looking okay. I actually kind of like the left side of her face. I feel like that turned out really soft and with kind of decent shading. So I'm not too mad about it. This is really simple, but I feel like it's my style and it looks okay. I'm not mad at it. It's fine. And because I'm a dummy, I forgot to take some footage for the final showing of the piece. So you just get this that I took, uh, this picture I took for Instagram. Oh yes, by the way, I now have Instagram, who the funk? So if you would like to follow me on Instagram, if you're one of the countless people who through time have asked me if I have an Instagram, now I do. I always tell you no, because I don't Instagram. It's too, no, <laughs> I can't. But I decided that it's time for Instagram now. So if you would like to follow me, I will I guess you can't leave a link for Instagram. I've, I'm at Suffer on Instagram. So if you want to follow me, just go, go find me there, I guess. Yes. Go do that. And I will see you later. And also thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I messed up my outro. <laughs> Bye.